Hey, Tony from Bikeberry here. Do you ever wish that your V1 BT100 could be upgraded to a V2 BT100? I'm gonna show you how. All it takes is swapping out the top end with this new cylinder body, this head, and a new piston, and you'll be ready to roll. All right, before I jump in and show you how to upgrade your V1 to a V2, let's talk about why you would even do it in the first place. Well, if you look at the V1 cylinder head, it's one piece and there's not much cooling surface, so they get pretty hot. So that's one reason. The second reason is, is that means you can't upgrade to a high performance part at all. The V2 has a built-in reed valve in it. I noticed that it runs a lot smoother because there's no back pressure to your carburetor straight out of the box than what this one ran. In this photo of the V2, you can see that it has an iron sleeve, which is much better than your standard wall inside of a V1. With the separate head on here with the massive cooling fins, a lot better cooling potential than the original. Plus people are just starting to experiment with the reed valve combination. Pretty soon we're gonna be coming out with an exhaust adapter and all that. So it's just a more upgradable high performance engine than it was previously. And if you already have a V1, that's a cost savings to you all you got to do is buy the top end and replace it for about half the price. Well, let's start by removing the cylinder head off the V1. All right, you can see that we have a new piston and the old piston. They're exactly the same size and everything. You just want a new one with your new cylinder head. So let's install it. All right, let's install our piston. If you look at the arrow, this goes towards the exhaust, which is that way in the engine. You could tell that by the two bumps down there, which is the locating pins. See that pin right there? That goes towards your intake, okay? So it's gonna go in this direction, like that. Let's put our bearing in here, like that. Check the arrow, place it in like that. That'll hold everything temporarily in place. Push it all the way down in, like that. If you look on the other side, you can see the retaining clip that it pushed against, so good to go. Get the retaining clip on the other side. When placing the piston up in the cylinder body, remember that your rings need to line up with these locating pins here and here. And then you're gonna squeeze them, squeeze them in as you push it up in there. You notice that the spark plug is not centered in the head, it's back, okay? That means that your intake side is this longer side. So I got the bolts in there, got my gasket on there, we're ready to put it all together. Okay, before we tighten it down, let's review the layers. We got a base gasket here, we got another gasket here, Everything's together nice, it fit nice. The piston went in there effortlessly. Everything looks good. Just tighten it down. 
So everything you need comes with the new head because the bolts have to be a different length than the original bolts. So everything's taller and bigger. So just make sure everything lines up real nice on here. It's nice and square. You'll be good. And the final step is to bust out your torque wrench and get about 10 pounds of torque on it. You'll be good to go. And that's all there is to it. You're literally just using the same bottom end. You're replacing the entire top end. That's cool. All right, there you have it. The BT100 upgraded to a V2. Pretty awesome. Check the links below for this entire kit to make your V1 into a V2. Let's roll.